Neri Rodriguez coming to you from Kane University as we have a top 20 matchup between Newark Westside and St. Mary's Elizabeth. Westside going on an early 11-4 run as 356 remains in the first. St. Mary's battling back though. Isaiah Robinson helps them take a 12-11 lead in the closing minute. A bit later, Malachi Gaten keeps that one-point lead for them as 30 seconds remain. But with time expiring, Tajon Huntley nails the three. And at the end of one, Westside leads 16-14. Isaiah Robinson bringing the Hilltoppers to life in the second quarter. He nails back-to-back -back threes to help St. Mary's lead 27-20 with 4.54 remaining. Robinson then drawing contact on this shot puts the Hilltoppers ahead by 13 after the three-point play. And finally in the closing seconds, off the loose ball, gets it to go with the finger roll. And St. Mary's leads 37-22 at halftime. Third quarter, Isaiah Robinson and Phil Brown putting the Hilltoppers in front 43-25 with 4.01 left. A bit later, Dion Julius Harrington finishing with the left in traffic extends it to 47-27 as just under two minutes remain. Phil Brown on his game in the final 30 seconds. The big man increases that lead to 21, and St. Mary's leading 51-32 entering the fourth. Brown still going hard in the final quarter. Kicks off the fourth with this alley-oop from Kyle McGee. McGee then gets in on the fun as he makes it 58-44 with 4.23 left. And with a 15-point lead in the final minute, Isaiah Robinson wraps up his day with another easy two. 74-58 will be your final. Number 11 in the current NJ Top 20, St. Mary's Elizabeth knocking off number 8, Newark Westside. The Hilltoppers prevail after a sloppy first quarter to dominate the rest of the game. They improved to 13-4 on the year. Those four losses include Bergen and Roselle Catholic, St. Benedict's Prep, and the Patrick School, so not a bad resume. Should help them as the playoffs are right around the corner. Phil Brown dropping 15 for St. Mary's. Isaiah Robinson finishes with 22 points and 5 assists. We caught up with the Hilltoppers afterwards on their upset win and what it means moving forward. Uh, we, we just pretty strong on playing good team basketball, so that's the game plan, and we just moved the ball well. First half is uh, first I was off, then my teammates trusted me to get the ball, and the shots started falling in. I think we just needed to settle down. You know, I, mean, I think Westside has an unbelievable pressure. You don't see that from anybody. They just chase you. They play hard for 32 minutes, and I think initially it shocked our guys. But we have players that are really resilient, and they trust each other. So when you have that, they slowed it down, moved the ball around, and controlled the pace. That's what allowed us to kind of take the lead and build off of that. Union County is the best county in the state. It's going to be tough. We're in the toughest state bracket, but you know we like to compete and we want to play everybody. And that's an opportunity for the kids to be seen, you know, and hopefully they can play, take their skills to the next level. You know, what I mean, because all these guys are talented. I'm Neri Rodriguez, and you already know it's Jersey Sports Zone. Want to see highlights and features from your favorite school? Jersey Sports Zone is entirely supported by our great sponsors. Email marketing at jerseysportszone.com to get your business in front of our loyal audience and highlights from your hometown.